Well, back here at home, there are so many restaurants, uh, new and old in the district, but sometimes it's hard to know where to start. And there is a new guide that will help you navigate all that. Joining me now in studio is Joanne Hill, author of a new a book called Unique Eats and Eateries uh, of Washington, D.C., the people and stories behind the food. And I love this so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. We were just talking about all of the, the research, very difficult research that you've had to do. <laughs> uh, talk about that and, and what went into that. Yeah, I call it a labor of love because yeah. really the research entailed me eating <laughs> copious <laughs> amounts of food and um, and bringing my husband along. But um, it was just so wonderful. I included about 100 different eateries around the DMV. Yeah everything between restaurants and markets and food trucks and bakeries and chocolatiers and so forth. And so whenever possible, I interviewed pretty much about 80% or so of the different chefs and restaurant owners and told their stories about their inspiration and what led them to this culinary path. And yeah. it was just incredible to meet so I mean, many. Some of those stories are, are so incredible. And I, we know that the, the DC dining scene has been through so much coming out of a pandemic. Yeah. It, things are seem like they're thriving again. Um, but what I love the most is you really included that range, like you just mentioned, from food trucks to mom and pop, high end Michelin star restaurants. Why was it important for you to have that, that range? Yeah, I think because, well, a few different reasons. One, I think that represents the DC area, right? There's such a diverse, eclectic uh, group of businesses and restaurant owners and people, um, people's palates, of course. And I wanted places that were casual, very approachable places that people could go to on a Tuesday if they wanted yeah. to, um, but also high-end places that would serve as special occasions that might be like, you know, a once in a lifetime kind of dining experience. I also wanted different cuisines, right, to represent yeah the different um, individuals who make the food and who um, who live in DC. So everything from, you know, Thai to West African to Filipino to pizza to bagels. Um, and yeah, just trying to kind of capture the landscape of the DC, DC's dining scene was my yeah. goal. When you were interviewing the, these chefs, I mean, what surprised you in those conversations you were having? Yeah, you know, I've said a few times before and, I, and it really resonated with me whether I interviewed someone who was classically trained mm -hmm. or someone who learned alongside their grandmother when they were five. Every individual attributed family, culture, upbringing, tradition to why they chose this path, which I thought was really important. Like everyone kind of spoke to their roots, whether they, you know, they were fishing with their uncle when they were a kid or they fell in love with their grandmother's garden and that's what prompted them to love food. Yeah. So many incredible stories. Yeah. Uh, and who knew like, mumbo sauce, the, the story behind it, the controversy? The controversy? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there's a tease for you right there. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit uh, quickly too, um, you know, as you were going through some of these, you know, restaurants, um, why was it so important for you to kind of document all of this um, and, and make sure that people have a guide to this? Yeah. I grew up in a very food-centric family where food was really our love language, yeah. and I think that that's how so many individuals around the world, not just in D.C., connect, right? If anything, you know, break, breaking bread is, is a real thing, yeah. right? It's how people connect, um, whether they're from all different walks of life, different countries, different um, cultures, and so forth. And so for me to be able to share those stories and to share the stories of those comforting plates that we kind of seek when we're looking yeah. for something, was important to me. Um, and like I said, so much of culture and tradition was woven into those stories and into the food that that was the most important part for me to document for yeah, sure. Kind of changes the way you look at things when you visit these restaurants. Absolutely. A few seconds left, how can people get your book? They can go to local bookstores, Parks and Pros, E City Bookshop, Solid State. I have a website, joannehilldc.com, of course, Amazon, um, anywhere books are sold. Okay, thank you yeah. so much for being My with pleasure. us. Thank appreciate you for it. Me. Thanks so much.